In this video, I'm going to talk about turning a series of images into a um, video using FFmpeg. To get started, you'll need to download FFmpeg. Um, if you want to do that, go to ffmpeg.org and hit the download button. And then go to get the packages, and I'm doing this on a Mac. You can modify these uh, for Linux or Windows. Um, and actually on Linux, you'd probably just use a package manager to download it. Uh, on a Mac, you want to hit the Apple symbol. Uh, static builds for OS X Intel 64-bit. And then uh, download FFmpeg here. And I also like to download FFprobe, which you can use to uh, analyze uh, a video file if you want to know the uh, frame rate or resolution. So. Once you download those, they'll go into your download directory and they'll be uh, zipped with 7-zip. So you can utilize a program called the Unarchiver, which is available in the Mac App Store. Um, I'll put links in the description uh, for all, the, all of this stuff. So, um, so now in the downloads folder, I have FFmpeg and FFprobe. I also have a folder here that I created uh, with the image files from my GoPro that I want to use in this time lapse. So I have uh, 108 GoPro and 109 GoPro. Uh, the GoPro segments the uh, time lapse into multiple folders sometimes. So um, in this instance I have two uh, folders. So to get started I'll go into the time lapse folder and I'll open up the uh, first uh, 108 GoPro. I'll select the first image and this is the image from my time-lapse. Um, you can press your arrow keys and go down. If you have any images towards the front of your time-lapse or the end, you can delete them now. You could select a series of images. Say this um, has a shot of you in it when you're setting up the camera and you want to delete those, you can delete those off the front end. You can then go to the last folder and delete any images off the back end. So these at the bottom here are the last images in the time-lapse. So uh, you can also do that after you create the video. It might be easier to do it ahead of time. So uh, what we have now are two folders with all of the images we want for our time lapse. So to use FFmpeg, we'll open up a terminal. And I'll increase the size of this to make it a little easier to read. Okay and we'll move into the time-lapse directory. So I'll type cd for change directory, space, tilde, forward slash, downloads, forward slash, time-lapse. If I type in ls, we'll see the two folders here. This means we're in the right place. I'll clear this. Then I'll start with my command. I'll type tilde, forward slash, download, z, with an s, uh, forward slash, ffmpeg. I may say this wrong. I'll put this command in the description so you can just copy it. So don't go verbatim off my voice. Um, look at what I paste in the description. Um, then we'll type space dash frame rate space 30. And this is the input frame rate of our JPEG images. Space dash pattern underscore type space glob space dash I space, single quote, star, forward slash, star, dot, jpg, single quote. So this is, can get a little bit tricky here. Since I have images within folders, this first wildcard is, represents the folder, and the second one represents the images. If you are in a folder that just has images, and no folders, then you can just say star.jpg. But in my instance, I need star forward slash star.jpg. Okay, space dash vf space crop equals in underscore w colon in underscore w times nine divided by 16, comma, scale equals 1920, colon, 1080. 
So what we're doing here is we're, we're saying crop this to the input width and then this little formula here turns this into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio video. Uh, right now the image is off the GoPro or 4 by 3 aspect ratio. This crops it to 16 by 9. So this means it's taking off the top and the bottom. You can also add other parameters at the end of this using say colon 0 colon 20 and this is an offset value so this is uh, 0 pixels in the x-axis 20 pixels in the y-axis and you can change the offset and you can play around with this later that gets a little bit more advanced but I just want to point that out uh, we won't do that right now um, after we crop it to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio then we're going to scale it to 1920 by 1080 you could also change this to 720 P, um, you could do 4K UHD, you could do other scales. You want to make sure that your uh, 16 by 9 here matches up with the aspect ratio of your scale here, or it might look funny. So uh, next we go space dash C colon V, and this is our um, video codec. We're saying lib V, no, lib X uh, 264 space dash r space 30 this is our output frame rate space dash pix underscore fmt space yuv 420p this is our uh, color space space out dot mp4 and that's our name is out dot mp4 we'll hit enter and then this will take a little while here and it will create the video for us okay that is finished so now we have our out.mp4 video we can double click it and it should open and we can play it this is a very boring time lapse by the way I didn't have time to go out and get a uh, a neat scene I'll uh, scroll through this quickly. You can see there's a little bit of ice melting and the clouds are moving. Now I'll open up a uh, an image from this. And this is a, a single frame from our time lapse. And if you look and compare it to the video, you can see where it cropped the top off at the tr top of this trash can. And you can also look at the uh, garage door over here and the garage door in the video and you can see that the aspect ratio is the same. It hasn't smushed it down or stretched it in any way. Um, you can use those offset values I talked about briefly t if you wanted to show more of the top or more of the bottom. You could uh, move the image up and down um, as you crop it. But this is the basics and you could also change the frame rate and things like that. So. Well, if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. And if you're an expert on FFmpeg and you have advice, you can leave that in the comments too. That's always uh, welcome. If you like this video, please click like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And also, I'll leave a lot of uh, different notes in the description. So uh, be sure to check there um, also before you ask any questions. So thanks for watching. Bye.